All right, what is going on, everybody? We are back for our first matchup of the night. Only three more matches remaining in the regular season. You got Gravity versus Reapers coming your way in just a little bit, followed by some more exciting matchups, including 845. We have Dissolve versus Papayas. Dissolve can clinch a playoff spot with a win tonight, but Papaya's looking to shut them down and then run it out the night at 9.30. We have Diffusion taking on Kiwis, both 11-4, and four, top of the Novice League, uh, going head-to-head, -head, uh, and that one should be another exciting one. Uh, but first, I gotta I gotta shout out, I guess, and introduce my co-cast in Really Mental for the five months, they, or five months, eight months. I five can't do months. math. I can't do math. You got scammed a little bit. I scammed by three months. Wow. Uh, Rockerman doesn't even know how long that I've been a member of this community. I've been putting in work. It's eight months. Thank you very much. Um, just... Now I'm thinking of taking myself back. No, I'm oh, just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. In all honesty, dude, I was thinking about upgrading my sub because this matchup, man, this matchup is going to be an absolute banger. I've been wanting to see the Reapers play for a long time now with their new roster. I don't think I've gotten a chance yet. And obviously, Gravity is still one of the top teams. This, this is going to be a good one. It, it definitely will be gravity top team in the West right now, eight or 11 and four. I'm still, I'm looking at the wrong records now. I, I'm losing my mind. Really? This match has got me, this match has got me going crazy. Gravity is 11 and four <laughs> here in this one. Uh, they are uh, three games up on the grand masters and they can potentially clinch the Western conference with a win tonight. They'll need a little bit of help to secure it despite their, despite their uh, impressive season so far. And then on the other end, the Reapers seven and eight here looking to clinch a playoff spot with a win tonight. It's also possible, but they need losses from bananas and lions, but both these teams, there's a, there's a lot on the line and these could definitely be two of the top teams come this playoff time. in just, uh, just, uh, just over a week. I could definitely see these being two teams that at least make it to the semifinals. If they don't meet each other early on in the playoffs, that is, I, even though Reapers haven't, clinched yet i fully expect them to clinch a playoff spot even if they don't do it tonight i still think it's in the works for them and like i said already obviously two of the top teams here with the recent addition of four the reapers have looked even better they were already on the upswing before after having a rough start to the season but now they're looking to go even all the way up and four definitely one of the top players in nemesis again reminder mvp from last season Again, added to an already pretty solid roster with Cook and Bagels on it. Season one champion, Cook and Bagels, been around for a while. Uh, and also Snack on the board there. And then obviously, everybody knows about Goff, Yor, and Dylan on the Gravity side. But merely, uh, what, what, do you, what do you say? Who do you got Who do you got in this one? Is Gravity going to improve to 12-4? and 12 and four, Or Reaper is going to maybe lock up their playoff spot tonight? That's a really tough prediction to make. I think I'm going to give the edge to the theoretical underdogs, actually, in the Reapers in this matchup. Uh, like I've said, they've been on the upswing. I think they're going to keep going up. They've got a lot of momentum coming into this series. Gravity, while they still are at the top of the league, had a tough loss to Inferno and haven't looked as convincing in recent times or haven't had as convincing of scorelines, at least. Haven't seen them on stream in a while, I don't believe. Uh, but I think I'm going to barely give the edge to the Reapers in this one in a game five. All right. Well, we will have to find out here as we're getting everyone joined on up in the lobby. Looks like chat is actually rocking barely with gravity here. 19,000 for gravity. Uh, Green Glow dropping 12K. And then the Reaper is 16K on their end. Four. Betting on himself here uh, on the Reapers there with 9K. 9.9k on himself. You guys get your predictions in. Last chance as we get things underway here. Game number one, Gravity taking on Inferno. As we talked about, Gravity in the blue with their normal roster. They've had all season long been very dominant with Goff, Dylan, and Yor. And then the new roster from the Reapers with Bagels, Four, and Snack. And merely, we've, we've seen a lot from, uh, I know, Gravity earlier on in the season. They've been on stream quite a bit and Dylan has got to be the guy to watch out for on the gravity end. Most definitely. Dylan has been a key player. It, he's been one of the people who has had a presence on this gravity roster. As Just as we say that like, he gets the first save and off of one of the first saves of the game. Um, but even more than that, I'm going to be looking... I mean, other than him, I'm going to be looking at your. But really, actually, it's this entirety gravity lineup. If they can 
come out. They have the advantage, but as I say that, Reapers get the first goal off of a pressure play. And there's four, the new addition to this roster. Goff tries to make a touch, and Dylan just can't quite get to that to that one there. And four is gonna find the first goal of this series. A little bit awkward from the defender there, but going back to what I was saying, I think the teamwork aspect is going to be huge for Gravity. They do have much more playtime together as a team. If they can use that to their advantage. They're not going to have a chance to yet, though, as they go down 0-2. Oh my, this one. Bagels is a 50 right to Snack, who just bangs it home. No one in net, which is very odd for Gravity. And something I'm a little bit concerned about merely is Gravity. They started out so hot. Uh, I'm, I'm blanking on the exact word. It's either 11-1 and or 10-2, and I believe. And ever since then, they have just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's been up. I've heard that they've been missing some players in some of these games, but I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned. It's, it's given me a little bit of the Grand Masters vibes that we've had the last couple seasons where have a dominating record and then can't quite close out the season. And luckily for them, they do have a little bit more time to work out some kinks if they want to be in prime form before playoffs. But that is a phenomenon that we see happen often. You know, teams often start out strong, but they can't always keep it going. It can be difficult to play a dominating performance throughout an entire 18 series season. It's definitely not an easy feat, even though many teams do get it and four with the pre-flip and a nice shot to the bottom, right? My goodness, we're talking a lot about gravity, but maybe when you start talking about this Reaper squad is they have just gone up three to nothing four with a beautifully placed shot in the bottom right. And this is a very, very impressive start, really. Indeed, and really off the bat, it looks like Gravity right now at least just cannot hang with the Reapers' pressure. They just have better rotations, and they're just beating Gravity to the ball. Gravity finally gets a chance at a counterattack, and a, oh my, a beautifully placed shot from Dylan. These guys are just scoring at will right now, only two minutes into the game, and Dylan, that's the man we talked about, absolute banger uh, from across the map, 83 miles an hour to send that one home. A beautiful shot there, and... Finally, Gravity gets on the board. What we That's what we expect to, expect to see from them for sure. Yeah, and finally some life coming out of them. Still, it was a, a counterattack play. And if they weren't just absolutely perfect on that play, they wouldn't have scored. To their credit, they were pretty much picture perfect with the play. But can they get two more? As they're going to need to get three more. Snack putting in another one. We can't even breathe in this up nearly. These guys have just throwing in a fourth goal and it looks like bagels actually connects on that bump there beautifully to open things up for a snack and five goals already not even halfway and this is sometimes something you see in these series um but i don't know for titan this is quite a bit a quite a, a huge amount of goals in the first uh, half of the game certainly an unusual occurrence as another passing play coming out from the reapers another oh. shot Bagel's barely missing, but Snack's not going to miss this one. And the high-scoring affair just gets higher. Like you said, this isn't often something we see in Titan. Oh, they just keep going right here as Snack puts another one in. Last defender nowhere to be found. And the Reapers are really just dominating this one at the moment, merely. It's just uh, two shots for Gravity as compared to eight already for the, for the Reapers. And it's a 5-1 to one lead. Really looking solid at the moment in this first game. And now, I mean, all that the Reapers have to do is not get scored on five times in order to secure this game. Surely at the tie-in level, and they won't even be content with that. An infield pass play, and they're going for the Brazil. They already are six goals. <laughs> this is insane. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, just a beautiful passing play out to the middle. Bagels banging it home, just putting on a clinic right now. And... I think this might be the first, uh, the, or excuse me, not the first, the most amount of goals I've ever seen in the first three minutes of a game. Really. There's seven goals in this one already. Yeah, this is insane. I haven't seen this many goals, at least in a Titan matchup in, uh, yeah, pretty much ever. Uh, as we might be getting another one. The play isn't quite dead yet. Uh, something to note, though, I do believe that the last time these two teams faced off, it was on stream once again. And that time, it was with a different roster for the Reapers, the same roster from Gravity, but I believe the Reapers got swept. So if this is their way of coming back for revenge, they are off to a very strong start here. Yeah, they definitely are. And 
six to one lead. That is very impressive here, especially against the top top seeded at the moment. Gravity currently in that one seed, looking to keep pace with Pinnacle for the top spot in the Titan League and a pass to the second semifinal. As Dylan now looking to get things going here, things have died down just a little bit. Is Gravity looking to take their methodical attack to the Reapers here? Touches don't come out. As Dylan now off the backboard, but four. Able to connect and send it away. And this one popped up high. Four. Once again out looking for a teammate, but Yor can't quite make that touch that he wanted, but still it works out to Dylan. Now they're down in the midfield. Goff looking to send this one up. Bagels to the backboard. As Dylan send another one on. Bagels blocking away. Yor. A light touch, but right in the middle. And Really, that's something actually I've, I've noticed from this Gravity Squad. We've seen them a lot on stream as Goff cannot connect to that one, but there's quite a few misses, uh, missed touches in this one uh, from the from this Gravity team that we're not used to seeing. They're used to getting those pass plays working. Yeah, and more so than missed touches, it's just inaccurate touches from them. Even though now the Reapers have started to give them space to breathe, realizing that you know the longer they score, the longer the game goes on. Maybe they just wanted to, to make the game go by a little bit faster, but... Even though Gravity had chances to breathe, they weren't really able to come up with anything all that convincing, and still the play seemed lackluster from them. It really, really did, and they're actually going to end on those two shots that we that we touched on earlier. Only one goal, two shots for Gravity, and the Reapers just and, and a very impressive performance from them on this one, and yeah, I mean, last series, they didn't it didn't go their way, like you said, I mean, the Reapers were pretty much just just handled handled by uh, handled by gravity in that uh, in that three zero sweep. But this one, I mean, it's a really good it's a really good start. I mean, we talked about it before, but you you really can't say it enough to come out and assert yourself with a six one win in game one. <laughs> and so far, the Reapers are the ones doing the handling. If they can get another performance like that and continue it, then it's definitely over for gravity. And we'll have to see. Gravity, though, definitely has been seen at times to be the team to beat this season. And I know for sure that they are not going to go down without a fight here as we head to game number two. This ball blocked up high. Goff going to clear it to the side. Yor can't quite connect on this one. Bagels on the dribble. Inflicted by one Dylan. Cutting this one off as Yor beat out by four. Goff. Sending up to the backboard towards Yor, who's looking for the Ooh. angle, but just a little bit wide there. Trying to make something happen, but not gonna go there. And merely, I know it's only been it's only been 40 seconds, but with the way that first game went, it feels a little bit weird uh, <laughs> to not see a goal go through quite yet. Yeah, this basically feels like the slowest series I've ever seen in contrast <laughs> to that for or in contrast to that first game. Uh but Already there's been a couple of opportunities, but the defenses definitely look a little bit stronger. Oh, as I say that though, Bagels with the flick. Can't quite get it. Dylan with a fortunate spawn. And now Reapers are back. This one off the backboard. Follow up from Bagels. He's going to bang it home. And it's a 1-0 lead in game two. And the pressure is just too much from the Reapers. Goff finds himself in an awkward position on the backboard. Can't make either of the necessary touches. Not that they were easy. But you just have to be getting clears from that position or else eventually the Reapers are going to put these ones in. And 4 honestly had a sh direct shot on net that would have gone in. Uh, Bagels does well to clean up after him, but either of those shots were too dangerous to be left alone. Gravity really struggling right now on this one. And they have not been able to really get out of their half, it seems like, this entire series so far. As now Dylan looking to make something happen, flicking by one, but Snack, he was just waiting for that as 4. Gonna find a touch. Goff out of the midfield looking for a passing play. Oh my goodness, there it is. Dylan sends it home, and that's the gravity we're used to seeing. Yeah, and there's the gravity we know and love. Goff taking the infield pass to Dylan, who's positioned just perfectly, bangs it to the upper shelf. And finally, gravity finding their stride, now tying up this, the game for the first time in a while. Yeah, nothing, nothing Bagels could really do there. That was an absolute banger. And Gravity was able to send on now. Goff put it one towards the net snack with a great save, but it's right out to Dylan, who puts it in, and Gravity now able to take the first lead. And now it's a little bit of awkwardness from the Reapers. Snack and Bagels there, both were just a little bit too close, so much so that that first touch goes over them, 
then even though Snack can make a good save, you're going to need to make a better save in the Titan League, and it was almost impossible there. Left alone. Couldn't quite make the touch. And so Gravity able to capitalize here is... Now they lead 2-1 to one in Game 2. Your first one up to this one, sending out in the midfield. A miss out from Snack, but four. Going to bail him out and send it down. This one goes to the corner. Demo comes out. Dylan sending it down, taking it towards the backboard. Can he find a follow touch? He can't, but it's right to your Denied away by Snack. He's now on the counter attack. Goff, not going to connect, but works out as a fake as he's on the dribble, trying to get it by Bagels. But Bagels sending this one up. A great pass down off the side there. The follow up, it's an open net, and Snack is going to finish the play there. A great one from the Reapers. That was just a really solid play. An insane pass from Bagels, actually. Had to do some acrobatics to get that one. Just gently drop down in front of four. And Snack with the follow-up. The Reapers' offense today is just looking incredible. I haven't seen them in this good of form all season. And what perfect time to be in perfect form with only three games left and the playoff spot on the line. They are looking insanely good here. But can they close it off? Can they keep it going throughout the series? But it's yet to be determined. Is Bagels going to clear this one down? Goff right back into Bagels. who sends this one up. York going to find a block out. But Snack just waiting for it to four. Back to Snack for oh. the shot. But Goff is there to shut it down. But right back to Bagels who's looking for a double tap potentially. Not going to quite find it that time. As now four. Not much boost to work with. Still able to get up. Is this one sent back down? Goff to the corner. Gonna connect. Finds a double, getting it by two. We're gonna get it by four. As this one is up, Dylan might have a net to shoot at, and he does. He sends it home, the hat trick from Dylan. And Gravity back out in front. And Gravity finally taking another lead. Dylan with a nice double tap off the ceiling, actually. Snack in a tough position as the last defender can't read the play. You can forgive him for that one. As once again, this. This is definitely a game where the shots are much more quality and both teams now slugging it out. Yeah, last game definitely did seem like a lot of mistakes, but a lot of great plays as well. And this one, you're definitely right, is another high oppor high quality opportunity goes off the post twice and denied away as the Reapers are looking to fight back and get on their offense that they've had all series long. This one, the golf. Banging it down, Snack has to get to it. Able to get to the corner, right to four. He sends it a long way, but no boost to work with. Dylan, gonna find a touch, but four finds a demo. And now the net open, but you're able to get back just in time. And now only a minute remaining. Gravity holding on to the lead. But can they hold on here? That is the question. As you're looking for a shot denied away by four. And Dylan. Able to send it up once more. Goff looking for the read, but Bagels, he was there first. Able to clear it out as Yor. Trying to find this one a little bit awkward, but he gets it out to the middle. To Dylan, who's looking for the double tap, maybe. Off the cross bar, but Bagels going to find the clear. As Gravity is just suffocating him down merely, and the Reaper's got to find a way out. Gravity are finally doing something that they weren't able to do at all in Game 1, and for most of this Game 2 either, and that's just completely take control of the midfield, shut down any clears from the Reapers. They're looking better than ever. Now they only need 14 seconds to close this one down. This one back in. Reapers, can they make something happen here to send us to OT? Snack, sending up high bagels. He's looking for the demo, not going to find it. This one, stay out of the midfield. Four has to find a way to keep it up. He sends it to the corner. Bagels kills it. But four, a great pop up as this one's dangerous. But Gravity sends it out and that's going to kill it. Gravity comes back and they are able to get the victory in game two. And we have ourselves a series now. And this was not an easy fight at all for Gravity, but they definitely showed why, the, why they're still the top seed in Titan right now. Even with the Reapers, man, they had some vicious passing plays, some that narrowly avoided getting scored, and Gravity found themselves in dangerous positions, but they did well to stay calm, stay composed, and really play their strengths, finding their own pass plays, and then one solo play from Dylan. And Dylan was really the difference in this game at the end of the day. And that's been the way pretty much this entire season from Dylan as he is definitely a, a front runner, I would say, for the MVP of the regular season. Um, and 
he's he's really the man for them. We talked to him on the get-go. If he's popping off, uh, Gravity will have a really good shot at taking this one. So uh, we'll have to see if he can continue that. Um, and really, really merely, the Reapers didn't even play that bad in that last game. It was just the fact that Gravity kind of kind of stepped up and kind of played like we expected him to play, and it was super close. Yeah, other than, I mean, one awkward defensive play where maybe Reapers gave up a goal a little bit easier than they should have, there wasn't really anything. And as we say that, hold on, where did Gravity go? <laughs> Gravity is gone here. Goff and your double commit comes out for them. And it's like the double commit for Reapers. Bagels turns it back himself. So, I mean, hey, sometimes the double commit works. Sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, there we see both instances in the same play. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess so. It happens sometimes. As uh, I, I am receiving a word, breaking breaking news out of the rival league. Hydra has gone down to Vortex in game five. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Well, <laughs> just to take a second to talk about that, Biscuit did tell me the other day that Vortex was the only other team that, or the team that he was most scared of in rival league. So congratulations to them. We should have gotten that one on stream as well. <laughs> Maybe so, maybe so, but uh, hey, this one, this one, not a bad matchup as well. I say, you never know, never know with Hydra and undefeated season when it can come to an end. So, congrats to Vortex. But in this one, we have a tied series on our hands in Game Three. The Reapers still looking to fight for their playoff lives, as they are currently sitting at second wild card spot in the East. And right now, leading Game Number Three. We're gonna, we're gonna pull a little bit of an upset here on Gravity as a little bit of a double commit comes out in the midfield. But this one's sent back down. Yor on the dribble. Looking to take things up to the ceiling. Yor trying to drop it right down to Golf, but Golf has already pre-jumped on this one. And Dylan gonna try to take his time here, but this one's still sent back up. He's gonna have to get another touch. A little bit dangerous, but sent away. That's now Golf. Locking out in the midfield. Dylan with a shot towards that dangerous ball for barely able to get the touch. But just enough to send it away to the side as York out in the midfield. Looking for Goff, who can't connect. This one still out in front, but Bagels denies it away. And now counterattack opportunity for shuts it down. And we still stay at a one nothing affair in this one, Mirna. Yeah, and Gravity not looking quite as coordinated as they did in the last game. They're going to have to try a pull from... Whatever store they got last time, but that's a nice shot from Dylan. Uh, so far, though, the Reaper's holding it down. Even though Gravity does have pressure, it doesn't seem as dangerous as previously. This one, both these teams still looking for some offense. Only one shot from the Reapers, but the double commit, I guess, was all they needed to make something happen. Gravity have quite a few more shots than they did even in that game number one, but they're still down in this one. As he passed the halfway point, Goff looking to set this one down, dropping it to a teammate. Dylan on the catch, looking to dribble it right around, but Snack able to step in and cut things off as four. A pinch down to Snack, Snack up, looking for the 50, sends it across. This one, he would be banged away by Dylan, but four can't connect to that one. Bagels has to make the touch. And Dylan. He's erased off the map. Goff trying to pre-flip on it, but it doesn't matter. It works out in the midfield. This one sent up high. Can Goff hit it in? He's looking for the angle. He can't find it, though. A tough miss from Goff there. Is that one That one could have been the one right there, merely. And that's not even really the first miss that we've seen from Gravity that should have really been a goal in this game alone. Goff there, not an easy read, but definitely one you expect to be hit 90% of the time of the time level as he almost makes up for it with an insane angle. But so far, Gravity with all of the pressure, but none of the goals in this game three. They have, they have yet to break through in this one. In a crucial game, this one will break this, the tied, tied series score. It's now Bagels trying to dribble this one out. Back out of the midfield, Goff trying to get to it. Actually going to go out for the fake, but Snack harassed away from this one. He's now four, sending it back down. Only a minute remaining. Goff able to send it up to the side, Dylan. Looking to drop it down to a teammate, but instead, Bagels is waiting. As Goff pushes it down, Snack blocked away for Way down the side, going to send it out to the middle. Looking for Bagels this time, but Dylan able to get in the passing lane. As you're sending out, looking to make some nav for Gravity, but Snack pops it up. Reaper's trying to get oh. some offense. Is this one <laughs> narrowly saved away? 
intentional or not, it's saved and now gravity's still holding on, but uh, apparently just barely in this one. And perhaps an unintentional save, only a hair away from being the craziest zone goal you've ever seen, but now it's gravity who are on the back foot. Gravity finally finding a clear out, but they really need to make something happen quick here, and they gotta be feeling frustrated after still not scoring off of any of these plays. Yeah, really, Reapers have shut down everything, throwing their way. Can Gravity find a breakthrough? They get it by one to the corner now. Dylan shut down by Bagels. That is a beautiful clear. And it's wasting precious seconds away. A pass out to Snack, who dives in. This one's still up. Goff to the side while Yor has to make a turn, trying to send it a long way. But Snack, he's shutting it down, and he's going to oh. finish the game with the double tap. Oh, my goodness, Snack. And destroying Gravity's hopes in style here is Snack. No zero second goal for you. I'm going to take that one, even though we don't need it. And that is definitely a message that the Reapers are sending to Gravity, not wanting to lose this series. Yeah, they are showing up for sure as now they take a 2-1 series lead, a huge performance from them. Uh, and I mean, just, I mean, what else can you say? They are still looking really good. And, you know, despite Gravity's best efforts in that one, that seemed like a game, you know, despite, or besides game number one, if we take that one as a little more of an outlier merely, this was a game where Reapers kind of really showed up and showed Gravity, hey, we're a top team and we're here to play. Yeah, and Gravity didn't didn't look really all that bad in this game they did have a lot of app opportunities that they weren't able to capitalize on but even still when they were getting offensive plays it wasn't just that they were being inaccurate honestly the reapers were shutting down and taking smart challenges getting good 50s and even though they were in their half for the majority of the time the defense from the reapers was really just top tier and if they can keep that up then gravity is just going to need to get more creative if they want to score yeah, they're going to have to find some way to break through five shots in that last game and five saves from the Reapers. So Gravity, you're going to have to find something. But again, right in the early seconds, a kickoff goal comes out and Reapers take the early lead again. And Gravity having flashbacks to game one right now. They're just going to have to try to avoid the same fate that they had in that game or else this could get out of hand quickly. They need to find a response fast, especially since they're now down in the series. And that one, that one actually reminded me of that game three, that first goal where they pitched it right off that uh, left crossbar and in. And that was the only goal that last game, really. Things definitely in the series have died down. I mean, we don't normally see a high scoring affair too often in Titan with how good these defenses are. So this one goal, it might just be the difference. It's, oh my oh. goodness, an insane passing play coming out, but denied by four. My goodness. A brilliant read by four there. That was certainly going to be a goal if he didn't position absolutely perfectly. And he does incredibly well, frustrating gravity even more. That was even a very creative defensive. Oh my goodness. As Reaper's fighting back and they're oh not going to be able to hit it. And the defense from gravity is stepping up to match the defense of Reaper's. All of a sudden, this is turning into an insane series. I think we need to alert Magma. A squishy save has been made in the <laughs> net there. Very useful, even in the Titan League, is that one. Goff, an insane save. I was I was very concerned he wasn't going to get to that one, but he does. And he keeps Gravity's hopes alive here. Can they turn it in on offense? Is this one sent off the crossbar? Dylan pushing it down. Able to get it to the side. Ford trying to make a touch. Dylan popping it up. Goff out in the midfield. Snack. He's going to send it down. Dylan is waiting, but no boost to work with here. He's just going to 50 it up. Four. Finds a touch. Going to look for maybe another one. And is sent off to the side. Yor taking it up. What can he do in the air? He sends it out for Dylan. Who's looking for the shot? Oh. And Dylan is going to get it right past the defender just enough. And what a way for gravity to turn this one around they had to contend with at least three or four brilliant shooting opportunities brilliant shots from the reapers getting crazy saves left and right and then they turn around and dylan with the placement they are just on fire all of a sudden offense has stepped up and we're seeing flashbacks of the gravity offense we've seen all season and what better time than game four as they look to send us to our first game five of the night. This one's sent down. Bagels blocked away four. Can't connect on this one. Could be a counterattack opportunity. 
And Snack doesn't get a great touch either. You're off the backboard, but Bagels able to get there just in time as he's trying to stay with it. Forcing Dylan to the air as Dylan fakes him. Oh my goodness, Dylan almost put it by the last defender. He was about to have a highly real play, but unfortunately shut down. And now Gravity back on defense. This one dangerous as it's a 50 away right in front of the net. Oh. Bagels sends it home and the Reapers take the lead. And finally, the Reapers break through. Yor just didn't have enough boost to get up for a solid touch. The last defender there in Dylan can't get a 50 and it was all three reapers members just sitting in the net you knew at least one of them were going to make that shot well most definitely and they're not going to miss one in front of the net like that too often is dylan is trying to read that one there almost did but gravity once again on the back foot and gonna have to find a goal to at least bring him back to an even ball game here is this one out in the middle? Great demo. Goff send it towards the net. Off the crossbar and down. Goff with an absolute banger to tie it up. And Goff's shooting has been questionable at times during this series, but he doesn't even hesitate there to put that one bar down and just perfect placement, taking advantage of a wide open gap between defenders on the Reapers. Good to see Goff stepping up here. As now two minutes remaining in game four, Reapers. Looking to take this victory if they can find another goal and hold on. Gravity hoping to get to game five as Bagels pops this one up. Double commit from Gravity, but still shot on net. Is this one up four? Looking for the 50. Instead, snacking and bang it down. Dylan to the corner, finding the touch, but Yor blocks up. Dangerous ball here as Goff and Dylan both commit. And Yor can't find the dribble that he wanted. It's still dangerous on the middle, and Snack has an open net to shoot at, banging it in the top left. A great placement from him. And once again, Reapers break down the defense of gravity. A huge 50 just sent straight to the middle, and Snack's shooting is never lacking, putting it in the perfect spot. And the defender there wasn't even far off from gravity, still fighting tooth and nail, but just barely going to sneak past is this one. Oh. oh my goodness, it almost rolled in immediately off of the kickoff. Hey, you don't see many kickoff goals in Titan League either. That would have been something uh, something to behold if that one would have went in. But fortunately for the Reapers, that ball was just off. And now Snack setting this one up. Gravity, once again, as they've pretty much been this entire series, have to find a way to get back on offense. As this one out, Dylan can't connect. Bagels just sending it down. Golf forced to jump and going to have to make a nice touch here. And he barely gets it away. As Dylan beating the defender here, Yor trying to get it going, but no boost to work with his bagels. Shutting it down and sending it out. But merely under a minute remaining in gravity, they still have to get this offense somehow, some way, find another goal to send us to overtime at the very least. They have to do it extremely fast as they're looking just kind of panicky now. They need to recuperate. They only need one goal. They're very much still in this game. Very much still in this series, but they might not be after that one. Bagels putting away another one with less than 30 seconds on the clock. And Bagels has been scoring quite a few here as he sends this one in. Last defender just a little bit too far out. Your can't connect and only 30 seconds remaining. The Reapers, can they pull off the upset and hold on? It's looking like they're going to more and more every second, but Gravity... They're known to fight back, and they're known to create these plays. They just need to be fast with them. Under 20 seconds here, this ball out in the midfield. Bagels just wasting all the time away from gravity. They're going to have to score on this drive right here if they want a chance. A banger off the backboard, follow-up opportunity. Goff can't connect, and with that pinch sent a long way and pushed back in the zone, it's not going to matter. The Reapers are showing up here, and they play as they are going to take this series three to one a great upset and they are one game closer to making it towards the playoffs and after watching that series you kind of wonder how it was ever called an upset in the first place i mean gravity didn't even look like they were playing bad even compared to their previous selves the reapers absolutely just coming out and with an offense that i've never seen from them before just completely maybe a new powerhouse and the Titan East right up there next to Pinnacle. And if they can play this well in the playoffs, then they might be a contender for the championship.
Yeah, definitely so. And it's that addition of four. It goes a long way to change a roster. And I think even before that, the addition of Snack was a great one as well for Bagels on this Reaper squad. And I know he, he's he got to be feeling good having a contender uh, for the playoffs for sure. So huge congrats to the Reapers taking home the victory. Now improving to 8-8. Eight and eight, And they have at least clinched a tie for a playoff spot uh, with Bananas and Lions re results pending. Could even clinch tonight. Um, unfortunately, though, Gravity down to 11 and 5. Still haven't locked up that Titan Western Conference yet. So there's still hope for Grandmasters, Venganza, and Dragons, who are all three games back in that one. So the Titan League, once again, always the action's always heating up there. So we'll have to keep our eyes tuned for that. Uh, but coming up next, you guys do not want to miss it. So make sure you guys stick around here. It's only going to be coming in a couple of minutes. We have another playoff caliber matchup as Dissolve takes on the Papayas. And Dissolve looking to take another victory home. If they win this series, they are heading to the playoffs. But if they lose, the playoff hopes might not be as, as confident. So let's see if the Papayas can pull off the upset over Dissolve. Or if Dissolve can hold on and make it the playoffs. That matchup will be coming in just a few minutes. Stick around and we'll see you guys then.